Nicole here with Job Hunt Solutions, and today is Thursday, which means it's viewer question and answer day. Today's question comes from Anthony, who is asking, what does it mean when a company uh, reposts a position for which he's already applied? Now, this question, I think, is also uh, applicable to those of you who may have already interviewed for a position and have seen the same role uh, reposted. So the short answer to the question is, it may not really mean anything. So the thing is, it's going to depend on what the reason is for the organization to repost the position in the first place. The first reason why a company may repost is that it just might be an automatic thing within the recruitment system. So sometimes uh, recruitment systems happen to be set up in a way that a role is reposted every couple of weeks. This just ensures that the position is, appears at the top of search results. Another reason would be that there could be some changes going on behind the scenes that you or I wouldn't be privy to seeing. So some of these changes could be changes in leadership within the organization. So if the hiring manager ends up taking on a new role within the organization, or sometimes budgets change, anything like that could impact uh, the need itself. A third reason would be that they may not have enough um, employee referrals that they've had for the position and uh, they're trying to actually generate more internal employee referrals for the role so they need to keep the role posted or they're reposting to give um, employees the opportunity to uh, have referrals. Closely related to that is that maybe the organization just hasn't had a lot of applicants to begin with and they're reposting the position so that they can see if they can generate more applicants for the roles. A fifth reason, which is rather unpleasant, I know as a recruiter I've had to deal with this a couple of times, but sometimes hiring managers will do what we call window shopping. So even if they've seen some really fantastic candidates, maybe even have interviewed some fantastic people, they might still be a bit gun shy or think, oh, maybe there's other people out there, I'd like to interview more people. So this is something that the recruiters need to manage better, but. I know this is not an easy task for recruiters to deal with. Uh, again, I've had to deal with this from time to time in my career as well. Another reason is that they could have actually gone down the path with this role to the point where they had an offer out and the offer could have gone to an internal person, a referral, or an external candidate. But for whatever reason, the offer may have fallen through. So in these cases, they may need to repost the position and almost start from scratch. And finally, the organization just might have an ineffective recruitment process. And there could be a number of factors that would contribute to that. But, um, you know, it's again, whatever the reason, it's going to be really, really difficult for any one of us to really be able to uh, know what that is just because we're not privy to the information. So, what can you do if you've seen the role repost it? If you've actually interviewed for the role, I think it's okay if you send just a quick email to maybe the recruiter or person that you've been contacting uh, most frequently throughout the process and just to say, hey, I've noticed that the role has been reposted, just wanted to re-express my continued interest in the role and let me know if there's any further information that I can provide you. So. Just something really pleasant, lighthearted, and just reiterating your expressed interest in the role. If, on the other hand, you have just merely applied to the position, then if you happen to know of people in your network who work at the organization, see if you can reach out to them to you know, express your interest in the role and to let them know that you've applied. Uh, they might actually be able to refer you in and that might actually elevate your profile to the hiring manager and or recruiters. As a final thought, I know that I've mentioned a number of times it's a best practice to have your target company list. And it's really tempting when we see our dream job posted within one of our target companies to get kind of fixated on that role. But it's really important to remember not to put all of your proverbial eggs into the one basket. You still need to keep uh, your job search alive until you've actually got an offer in hand. As we know, anything can happen during your job search journey to uh, you know to impact what's going to happen so always make sure that you keep on pushing keep on moving along thank you so much anthony for this great question i hope you guys found this helpful 
If you did like it, please remember to press like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, uh, any video ideas, or would like to collaborate, I'd love to hear from you. Of course, I can be reached on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, email, whatever works for you. And for personalized advice, of course, come on over to my website and I'd be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy hunting.